Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs. So guys, uh, today I'm going to cover a very, very small topic, but it's very important sometimes that how to handle basic authentication pop-up that you have to sometimes, the moment you launch the URL or application URL, you are getting one pop-up where you have to enter your username and password. I'll show you what kind of pop-up pop I'm talking about. So let's see, this is a URL and then the moment you enter this URL, you are getting this pop-up, right? That your connection to this site is not private and you have to enter your username and password like this. Instead of a proper username password on the web page, you have to enter some username password over here. So this thing, guys, you cannot inspect. So if you right click on it, there are no inspect options are available, right? No inspect options available. So you cannot inspect, you cannot inspect this sign in or cancel. It means you cannot get the ID, XPath or class name or name or CSS selector for these things. Because this is a kind of authentication pop-up is coming from the server. And from the server, it means in this on this particular side, it says that, okay, you have to enter username and password and then you have to click on sign in button and then you will be authorized. Then only you will be able to log into the application. So I'll show you that after login, how exactly it looks like. So let's see, uh, simple, it looks like this. The moment you, uh, you know, enter the admin username and password, the username and password is, let's see, for this particular site, admin admin, and then you click on sign in, then you are coming on this page at, okay, congratulations, you must have the proper credentials. Or maybe you will be, uh, you will be seeing the home page or uh, next page, or maybe login page or whatever, right? So how to handle it? So we cannot handle it by using by.xpath or by.id or something. In that case, what we have to do, along with the URL, we have to pass the username and password. So it's a very, very simple code. So let me write, let me launch the URL and then I'll uh, show you. So let me first launch the Google Chrome. So this is that uh, launch the Google Chrome that we have to use the system property and launching the Chrome drive. And then let me launch this with web driver. Web driver driver is equal to new Chrome driver. And web driver we have to import like this. And then what we have to do is that very small thing driver dot get in double quotes. What is the URL? This is the URL. Just copy this URL over here, paste it. And then what we have to do after HTTP colon double slash before this just the domain name this is the domain name that dot com domain right before that this domain name what we have to do we have to pass the username and password and the username and password for this particular application is admin admin you just need to write admin and admin over here like this let's be let me write over there admin admin and then click on sign in you will be see that okay yes congratulations you must have the proper credential but how to do that in Automation in Selenium. So you just need to write admin is the username colon admin is the password and you just need to write at the rate. So username okay username colon password at the rate the URL. So the format is like this. Let's see HTTP colon the uh, you know whatever it's uh, whatever the username. Let's see my username is Naveen K colon test at the rate one two three at the rate let's see something test.com like this so we have to pass the username and the password so the actual format will be like this your actual username and then your password right whatever the password it is and at the rate test.com you have to write Right. So before you uh, the actual URL, we have to write simple username colon password. Make sure you are putting colon and at the rate on which URL you are to perform authentication. So this is the URL. So the moment you see that, okay, yes, that uh, congratulations, you must have the proper credential. Let's see. So this is the only line that you have to write. Now let's see after coming on this page, after entering username as password admin admin, we are coming on this page and we are going to verify this message that this message is coming correct or not. So let's see this message is coming under P, right? So this is, I can take it as a CSS selector and then we will verify that it is coming or not. So driver dot, let's see, find element by dot 
CSS selector and my CSS selector let's see P and then simple dot get text method is there and get text method will return one string let's see string page message is equal to this and then I'll print it on the console system dot out of print ln simple and using page message and then uh, let's run it and we will see it is working or not so we run a java application so you see it's launching and now it will not show any username password pop up simple you can see that congratulations you must have the proper credentials it's coming on this page directly without opening the pop right and see it's printing like this but if you don't enter this admin admin let me remove this admin admin at the rate if you enter the url like this directly see what happens okay so just a minute it's still launching see and then you will see after entering the url see username and password it is asking now you won't be able to enter the username password over here and you won't be able to click on sign in button as well so you cannot do that so this is the rule guys you have to pass like this okay you have to pass it like this now if you run it again let me close all these browsers and then let's run it again okay so now with admin admin if you run it immediately it will be authenticated and automatically it will be logged in because in the url we are passing the username and password see so it's not here it's not asking any username and password pop-up any authentication pop-up it's not showing right so this is how whenever you see such kind of thing guys uh, simple pass username password like this and that's it and this is a very famous interview question as well that uh, if any authentication pop-up is coming like this how will you handle it so simple you just need to pass like this that's it okay so very simple topic that's all i just wanted to cover i just it just came into my mind and i thought okay i should cover this topic so let me know if you have any issues and uh, if you have any other url also uh, for similar kind of url please share with me in the comment section uh, that if your application url or maybe some uh, public url is available where these kind of pop-ups are coming so that i can use those urls okay in the few uh, next sessions and all so thank you so much uh, for watching this video guys and uh, please uh, share with your friends and colleagues and let me know if you have any issues you can write your comments over there if you have any queries i think it's a very simple topic and please uh, share it on social media on linkedin or facebook okay thank you so much guys thanks for watching